transgluteal approach according to Bauer. Principal indications. Total joint replacement. Femoral neck fractures. Femoral neck osteotomies. Juvenile slipped femoral capital epiphysis. Hip joint sinovectomy. Positioning and incision. The patient is placed in the supine position with a pad under the buttocks. The incision corresponds to the slightly curved one shown in figure. After splitting the subcutaneous tissue and the fascia lata parallel to the skin incision, the gluteus medius and minimus and vastus lateralis are divided in their anterior third in line with their fibers. Figure. It should be ensured that the tendiperiosteal tissue between the gluteus medius and vastus lateralis on the front of the greater trochanter is carefully stripped from the bone in one layer. This detachment is best accomplished by diathermy. Exposure of the hip joint capsule. The anterior portions of the joint capsule are dissected free with a cob elevator. A curved Hohmann elevator is inserted between the origin of the rectus muscle and the anterior acetabulum wall. A cranially placed Hohmann elevator intervenes between the joint capsule and gluteus minimus, and another is placed distally between iliopsoas and the joint capsule. If necessary, a second anterior Hohmann elevator may be inserted somewhat distal to the large curved elevator. The incision of the hip joint capsule is T-shaped, figure. After broad opening of the joint capsule near the acetabulum, Two Hohmann elevators may be inserted between the capsule and the femoral neck. No damage to the femoral head circulation is likely to result from this procedure. Figure. Anatomical site. As shown in figure 1 of the advantages of the transgluteal approach is that the superior gluteal nerve is protected against undue retractor pressure by the wide muscular coat of gluteus minimus. Figure. The course of the superior gluteal nerve has been better revealed by detaching the gluteus medius muscle from the iliac crest and greater trochanter. Other advantages of this approach are clear exposure of the femoral neck, the upper parts of the hip joint capsule, and the femoral neck resection plane for total hip replacement. Wound closure. Figure. The wound is closed by apposition of the muscles split in line of their fibers, gluteus medius and minimus and vastus lateralis. The fasciopereosteal plate is firmly sutured in the region of the greater trochanter. Subscribe Orthopedics Trauma in YouTube. Thanks for watching.